a smart new electric train. But in the street, it's all about making public transport more attractive, taking people to where they want to be, leaving the car at home, beating congestion. Saarbrücken in Germany but close to the French border. In fact, we'll start at Sargamine in France, terminus of the Saarbahn light rail service. Customs controls here are but a memory now. Despite the complex looking panel, these vehicles are easy to drive. Zarban drivers don't sell tickets now. Buy yours at the machine on the station platform or at the street tram stop. 96 seats and room for 147 standing. Don't speak to the driver during the journey in either language. Train is ready to go. So we leave Zargamin station under the control of a French signal and powered by the German railway's 15,000 volt AC supply. Next Haltestelle. This film was made in June 1998. This first line of the Zarbahn had opened eight months previously in October 1997. Six months after opening, Daily passenger use was reported as five times that of the former railway service. As we cross the River Tsar, we also cross from France into Germany. A German signal. back of a French symbol for the opposite direction. Signal operation is by Deutsche Bahn. The Tsar authorities plan a considerable light rail network. Outside the central area of Saarbrücken, the trams would provide the local rail service on existing rail lines. Some closed or freight only lines would also have the trams. All they need is the money.
Stop announcements also say on which side to alight. New facilities here provide for connecting buses and a third platform for short workings. In contrast, a French service from Strasbourg passing this station.